ருக்மணி இஸ் எவ்ரி திங் ஓகே வித் யூ கிருஷ்ணா அஸ்டு வை ஜென்ரலி யூ மேக் அதர்ஸ் கிரை நோ யூ ஆர் கிரை வாட் இஸ் ஹேப்பன் டு யூ தட் டைம் கிருஷ்ணா டெல்ஸ் ஷரதல்ப கதோ பீஷ்மஹா ஷாமியன்னிவ ஹுதாசனா ருக்மணி in a few seconds from now bhishma's jeevatma is going to leave his body for after having lived like easily 150 170 years sharatalpa gato bhishma that jeevatma is going to depart if that jeevatma departs rukmini listen hear it from me ஞானி அல்பி பவிஷியி தே வில் பி அ ஸ்கார் சிட்டி ஆஃப் இன்டெலெக்சுவல் பீப்புள் இஃப் பீஷ்மா இஸ் கான் தென் யூ லவ் டு ஹண்ட் ஃபார் ஒன் இன்டெலிஜென்ட் பர்சன் கிருஷ்ணா டெல்ஸ் திஸ் தட் இஸ் வை பீஷ்மா வென் ஹி ரிசைட்டட் விஷ்ணு சஹசிரநாமம் கிருஷ்ணா வாஸ் அமீஸ்ட் சி ஹீ இஸ் பிக்கிங் அப் நேம்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் பிளேசஸ் அண்ட் புட்டிங் தெம் டுகெதர் சோ பியூட்டிஃபுல்லி when yudhishthira asks those six questions and bhishma answers krishna is far away then as he keeps listening he comes close by the time he comes close it is towards the last 20% of sahasranama that is when yudhishthira asks sir these names are so beautiful bhishma but where is that lord whom you are talking about you are saying bhuta bhavya bhavat prabhu you are calling him putatma you are calling bhishak all these names are beautiful but where is that lord see next to you said bhishma krishna was saying krishna devaki nandana srashta kshitishaha papanashanaha the one who has been loitering around as your cousin is the one whom i have been mentioning all this long so krishna wanted to listen so when bhishma's atma was leaving he started shedding tears rukmini now the world will be devoid of intellectual people that is true right gnaninaha alpi bhavishyanti bhishmot krishtah now how do we understand bhishma's greatness listen to this episode it is a very important episode from mahabharatam mahabharatam i feel very challenged because how many ever times i give upanyasams on mahabharatam 1600 character names i have to remember it's a tough task it is four and a half times the number of characters of harry potter seven volumes huh here you all know when the yuddham began bhishma said i will fight for the dhartarashtras but he said i will not kill the pandavas i will decimate their army because i have a relationship with them killing you all take up duryodhana you are very good at it you take it up but there was one rule karna said if bhishma is on the war field i will not enter that war field so only after bhishma goes to the sharatalpam karna comes there a lot of internal politics they say right all parties should come together all parties within the party there is to be a talking right they have to agree to each other's ideologies here karna and bhishma won't look eye into it so karna did not come to the war field sorry i'm having trouble with the connection yo this is siri ha ah. i thought i had said something wrong huh? suddenly there is one akashavani from here huh? okay bhishma said okay let us all fight we will have some rules so he was the eldest person yudhishthira said we will agree to what you say and he kept drishta dhyumna as the commander in chief because krishna said see all of you keep your mobile data on he told pandavas every now and then i will give some messages just follow don't ask me why you keep drishta dhyumna because drishta dhyumna was born to kill drona only when you keep a person who is your death in front of you you will do mistakes so krishna said you keep him as the commander in chief though drishtadumna was very much young so this war was happening now previous to the war there was a little politics played there krishna's sister was married to arjuna so arjuna is the son in law as well as the cousin 
ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾರಿಡ್ ಟು ದುರ್ಯೋಧನಾಸ್ ಡಾಟರ್ ದುರ್ಯೋಧನ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಎ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಡಾಟರ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಶೀ ವಾಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾರಿಡ್ ಟು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅಂಡ್ ಜಾಂಬವತಿ ಸನ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಶಾಂಭ ಸೊ ದುರ್ಯೋಧನ ವಾಸ್ ಸಂಬಂಧಿ ವಿತ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅಂಡ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಇನ್ ಲಾ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹೌಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ದ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಟು ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಶಕುನಿ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಯೂಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೋ ಗೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ he goes you know that incident he sat near krishna's head while krishna was having a siesta and then uh, arjuna comes later he sits at the feet krishna wakes up and says arjuna when did you come duryodhana gets rattled and angry he says i came first okay duryodhana don't get angry see when you wake up you'll wake up like this you won't turn back and wake so you should have come and sat where i woke up anyways now i duty bound to help the both of you on one side i will give the entire army rafael mg 3300 everything ak everything i'll give one side the other side it is only me you can choose duryodhana said i will choose krishna said no shastram tells the younger one should be given the option first arjuna you choose arjuna said undoubtedly i want you <laughs> duryodhana was very happy okay okay let arjuna take you it's he is my brother after all i will take the army and he went with he grinned this year to that year and went to shakuni's chamber uncle mama we have won the army he said keep quiet where is krishna on the other side you are losing you have left that man the other side and you brought the army here useless fellow you go and tell him krishna i forgot to ask part b of that boon you go you go tell him that he should not use any weapon in the yuddham he goes krishna you should not use any weapon emoticon <laughs> hmm? he does this now everybody has become sharanagata in the whatsapp message everybody puts this palm <laughs> there is a lecture of mine they put this palm i don't know whether they want me to stop sending the messages <laughs> ಸಾಕಪ್ಪ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಯಾವ ಮೆಸೇಜು ಕಳಿಸ್ಬೇಡಿ ಯು ನೋ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಪ್ರೆಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಮಠಾಚಾರ್ಯ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಪ್ರೆಟ್ ದ ವೇ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೆಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಯೂಸ್ ವೆಪನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಹಿ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಸೆಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಯು ಆರ್ ವರದ ರಾಜ ಐ ನೋ ಶುಡ್ ಯು ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗಿವ್ ವರಮ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಫೈಟ್ ಹೌ ವಿಲ್ ಯು ಎಂಟರ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಸಿ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಟು ದ ಬಾರ್ಡರ್ ವೇರ್ ಯು ರಷ್ಯಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಯುಕ್ರೈನ್ ಆರ್ ಫೈಟಿಂಗ್ somebody has what are you going to do? i just going to see what they are doing <laughs> no audience is allowed in the battlefield you have to either fight what will you do in a battlefield without using weapons krishna said cool send your charioteer on a casual leave for 20 days you know by the end of the year all the leaves will get lapsed you ask him to use it if i send him how will my chariot go i will become your sarathi sarathi doesn't have to use weapons i will be closer to you as well and keep let us all form a group v5 <laughs> i will keep sending messages just listen to me so krishna what did he say i will not use weapons that night bhishma acharya called for a press conference he said press people are sir why have you called us in the mid of the night tomorrow the yuddham is going to begin i wish to throw a challenge to the king of dwaraka to krishna yes what has he challenged asked bhishma the journalist said that he will not use weapons i challenge i will make him lift the weapon next times of hastinapura newspaper <laughs> on one side krishna vows not to use weapon on the other side bhishma challenges he will break that vow who will win let us see <laughs> this is there see i may do it in my own fashion it is found in mahabharata first day onwards the yuddham began bhishma acharya is hurling arrows then arjuna is hurling arrows two days three days fourth day fifth day rukmini said krishna you have lost so much of faith i have made some undhiyo for you she is from gujarat undhiyo and chunda have it with this thepla 
Krishna, you have lost weight. Krishna too fed. In me, at face value, I have left all my administrative work in Dwaraka and become their charioteer. He thinks he can make me permanent. Uh, permanently you become my driver. On the tenth day, Krishna got angry. This is not the way a Dharma Yuddham should happen. He jumped from his Ratham. Tamatta chakram pranadatva muchaihi kruddham mahendra varajam samikshyam sarvani bhutani bhrisham vinedu hukshayam kuruna miti chintayitva savasudeva pragrihita chakraha sambartta ishyan niva jiva lokam abhyutpatan loka gurur babhase bhutani drekshan niva dhuma ketuhu says Vyasa. The moment Krishna jumped with that anger for a moment the battle stopped it seems. People looked at him. They felt that the God of destruction, Trayambhaka, Shiva has come to the what battlefield. Krishna was very pleasant in his countenance. For a minute he had Nrsimha in him. He jumped from his chariot. He took a wheel that, was wo that fell off a chariot and put it in high air and took that as disgust. Alakalalla Ladagani says Tyagaraja, his hair went to and fro. With that, he started running towards the chariot of Bhishma. You know what Bhishma did? He put all his weapons down. He said, Krishna, I was waiting for this minute. When you will kill me for the injustice that I have been witness to in the court, when Draupadi cried, I should be killed by you. I should get moksham this very minute, Krishna. That is when comes Bhishma Stuti. Tribhuvana Kamalam Tamala Varanam Ravikara Gauravambaram Dadhane Vapura Alaka Kula Vritananabjam Vijaya Sakhe Ratirastu Mena Vadya says Bhishma, I should be killed by you. Come. Then Arjuna comes running and says, Krishna, tomorrow people will say that Krishna did so much for Arjuna. But Arjuna did not help Krishna keep up his promise of not using the weapon. He forced him to lift the weapon. I do not want that blot, that blemish to fall on you. Krishna, I will fight seriously. You come. Next day paper, Bhishma won. Because Bhishma made Krishna lift the weapon, right? Immediately people ask Krishna, how do you feel now? <laughs> Reality show. Huh? Even if that person doesn't feel that much, he has to, they will make him cry, they will put one background music. Then they will show one tear. Krishna said, I am very happy. I am happy that I have lost. And Bhishma has won. Why do you feel so? He just gave a smirk and went. Why? Bhishma tells this as a Nama in Vishnu Sahasranamam. Chalaha. Eko naika savah kakkim yattat padamanuttamam loka bandhur loka nato. If you know, you can decide. Eko naika savah kakkim yattat padaman. Today is the last Saturday of the Purattasi month. Yeko naika savah kakim yetat padamanuttamam loka bandhur loka natho madhavo bhaktavat salaha suvarnavar no he mango varangas chandanangadi vira havisha mashunyo dhrita shira chalas chalaha chalaha. So the name of Narayana is chalaha. What does chalaha mean? I will read out the vyakhyanam here. Sahya vadhi ritanu yudha sparsha samayaha samriddha chakro bhishmam achakrama yatha dhatuhu pragvat pratyayancha dutyadikaradau anapatra pishnuvi prayojikataya bhakteshvanu grahayutaya manaha chitta samunnatihi asyastihi mani saha chalaha. The one who loves to face defeat at the hands of his devotees is called chalaha. He wants us to win. He wants himself to you lose. He is called Chalaha. So God is so accessible. He always does not want to win. He wants to lose to his devotees. 
सो इज कॉल्ड चलह सो वॉट इज द फोर्थ फीचर ऑफ विष्णु सहस्रनाम भीष्मोत्कृष्ट मतत्व दट ग्रेट भीष्म has uttered these names what is the fifth one this is the most relatable part to sahasranama whatever i have spoken is beautiful but now you will relate what is the fifth one parigrahati shayatah all of them have accepted vishnu sahasranama who sir all he lists now now he says <coughs> sutika graha varna graha varnane there is a work in sanskritam called kadambari by great poet called very good banabhatta banabhatta in kadambari describes one labor ward in that it's a it's a big novel in that novel he describes a labor room where women will come deliver towards the end of a sutika griham it's called sutika griham where women deliver there was a stage kadambari describes this is the sanskrit work of the first millennium it describes towards the end of that labor room a group of people will be reciting vishnu sahasranamam 24 cross 7 it seems because in those days if you keep listening to sahasranamam you are guaranteed a normal delivery i'll read out this line an uh, <coughs> बानभट्ट सूतिगृह वर्णने अविच्छिन्न पठ्यम नारायण नाम सहस्रम नाम सहस्रम विष्णु सहस्रनाम वॉज रिसेड फॉर नॉर्मल डेलिवरी हि डिस्क्रैब्स देन हि से इन वन पर्टिकुलर लाइन जप्यम प्रायश्चिते जप्यम नाना विप्रकीर्ण मूले मेहस्य प्रायश्चिते दिस इज अगेन अ लाइन फ्रॉम अ होरशास्त्र i am talking 1700 years back before the chalukyas when people used to go with urinary problems to the medical practitioner in that city meha prayaschitte for their kidney related problems the prescription used to be recite vishnu sahasranamam japyam purusha suktam ityarabhya tathaiva bhagavan nam sahasram after this recite sahasranam so if you have people having urinary problems i am not coming up with my own theory it is found in the hora shastra charaka samhita our medical book tells here vishnum sahasra murdhanam chara charapatim vibhum nam sahasrena jwaran sarvan vyapohati so charaka samhita talks about ailments how it can be cured in those days if you go to a doctor they used to write down take these particular concoctions at the end of it the doctor used to write recite sahasranamam thrice the jwaram sarvan jwaran vyapohati whatever fever will go this was there now you may ask where there is a patent how many of them it is proven and all of that you have the right to ask it is a democratic country i am quoting what parashara bhatta has said he lived between the 11th and 12th century if you go to vaikuntham go and ask him <laughs> okay now is there an example living example to this one saint who lived in the last 100 years the great sage of kanchi called chandrashekharendra saraswati or paramacharya while he was camping in the 1960s in royapetta in chennai he had 104 fever the sishyas got worried and they said should we call the doctor he said no no call 150 people who have learnt vedam they called immediately he commanded recite sahasranamam of vishnu thrice in front of me they recited by the end of 1 1 and a half hours it came to normal c so charaka samhita states sarvan jwaran vyapohati paramacharya is a living example there is a theory there is a practical it tells if you have got respiratory problems recite vishnu sahasranam because vishnu sahasranam has been made a panacea there he says in one particular line uh, graha bhedadi if you have problems because of navagraham in your life they will cause some one problem or the other see today you are here <laughs> you know how how navagrahas have worked so even for graha peeda in those days they used to recite vishnu sahasranam see such an inexpensive 
such a priceless price chittam is sahasranamam so sahasranamam is so important now mahapatakatvadi even when your children are going abroad you will have the worry whether the flight will land properly and all of that right recite vishnu sahasranamam so whatever problems you have shastram tells vishnu sahasranamam is the only solution so much so that it is mentioned in the anecdotes in the aitihyam that bhagavat pada want after doing the bhashyam prasthana trayam brahma sutram upanishad and geeta he wanted to do a bhashyam for lalita sahasranam because if there is one sahasranam which can get as close as vishnu sahasranam in popularity it is lalita sahasranam it is a part of brahmanda purana so bhagavat pada is supposed to have told his student go get the manuscript of uh, lalita sahasranam the student went and got the manuscript he opened he thought he will recite the line shri mata shri maharagi lokatita gunatita sarvatita samatika it started with vishnu vishvam vishnu eh hey, you got the wrong manuscript go get lalita sahasranam he went again again he got one manuscript again it was written vishvam vishnu vashatkaro how are you getting this that is when the student said i saw a little girl standing and giving me this manuscript that little girl was none other than parvati who said you do vyakhyanam for vishnu sahasranama this is the panacea for all okay now last feature of vishnu sahasranama first mahabharata saratvat the essence of mahabharata is vishnu sahasranama rishi bhiv pari ganataha these names have been chosen by rishis who have internalized and had a sakshatkara of bhagavan vedacharya samaharat the one who has divided and compiled the vedas as rig yajuh sama atharvanam called krishna dvaipayana or vyasa who has given us mahabharatam is the same one who has given sahasranamam vedacharya samaharat fourth bhishmot krishna matatvatah the great bhishma whom krishna thought has uttered these names fifth parigrahati shayatah every medical practitioner every logician in fact it is said there i will read out this line abala muka murkha purusha stri nasti kopeshajam vishnu sahasranamam will grant full phalam even to a nastika it seems even if the person says i don't believe in religion i don't believe in vedas i don't believe that's his right see sanatana dharma welcomes even atheists but who even atheists should debate logically and should be well read both you have to to be an atheist also you need two qualifications right so even nastikas will get phalam imagine they say we don't believe in vedas we don't believe in this system they will still get phalam if they recite vishnu sahasranam there is no compulsion that you have to believe in it abala mukha paryanta purusha stri nastika veshayo ho he says now what is the sixth feature sir <clears throat> before that i have to tell one namam we say that he is the doctor how do we know bishak there is one namam in vishnu sahasram bishak means physician alvar tells marutvanai ninna mamani vannan he himself is the doctor now last part गीता तैकार्थ कश्चन महाभार विष्णु सहस्रनाम इज द एसेंस ऑफ भगवदगीता टू सी हू गेव अस भगवदगीता परमात्मा हिमसेल्फ अटर्ड हू गेव अस विष्णु सहस्रनाम भीष्माचार्य यू टेल मी ऑनेस्टली इन दिस वर्ल्ड मोर पीपल नो विष्णु सहस्रनाम बै हार्ट और भगवदगीता बै हार्ट सो इवन इफ द लॉर्ड चूसेस टू से समथिंग वी इग्नोर दट but when his devotee says something we won't ignore that nine doddavano ninna da esare doddavaro says dasa are you the one who is to be propitiated or it is your devotees correct see sanatana dharma has a very tricky thing here i'll tell you how tricky it is who is the one who controls the creation it is the lord who is the one who is the creation the lord who is the one who is in the creation it is the lord remember this sentence the western religions 
treat the creator and the creation as two distinct entities. The creator has created the world. That is why when we say we have to say Vande Mataram, worship the motherland, they say no. This is a creation. We will worship only the creator. See, here we are not here to criticize them. I am just telling you their postulate. But in Sanatana Dharma, which is the Eastern philosophy, three sentences you have to remember. There is a creator and there is a creation. Sentence number one. Sentence number two. The creator is in the creation. Third sentence. The creator is the creation. Three sentences you remember, you will understand Sanatana Dharma slightly in a better fashion. That is why when you look at the mountains that have been drenched in torrential rainfall for four months, you will see a thin layer of moss on it. When the moon's rays fall on the mountains which are smeared in moss, a fluorescence emanates out of it. That very minute, the mystic saint writes, You don't have to go to Sri Rangam, look at the Lord and say he represents the Emerald Mountain. Just looking at a normal Nandi hills, you should be reminded of the Lord because the hill is also the Lord. Many of them ask, Sir, Tirupati is always a tension sthalam. Till you get darshanam, you can never be sure whether you will have darshanam or not. You may have the best ticket. That Lord will keep us on pins and needles. Till that last minute, many of them who are physically challenged, they will ask, Sir, what should we do? Of course, there are some facilities, but remember, the moment you step on that Divya Desham, just that hill, it means you have had a darshanam. You don't necessarily have to go to a temple. Remember this line. Yakashiti na chakashiti bhuvisa yodhyeti na dhyasyate. Sa avantiti kalmasha davadisa kanchiti nodanchati dhatte sa madhureti nutta maduram nanyapi manyapuri yavai kuntha katara samrita bujam rocheta nocheta se se vedanta deshika and rahasyatra yasaram. It is called divya desham. The sthalam is important for us. What is the hill? Vedanta Deshika says the hill is a solidified form of the Lord's mercy which is like a candy. See, when you take a sugar cane, it has got leaves at the top, roots at the bottom, it has cuts in the middle, it is dark hued. The central portion is what is important, not the roots, not the leaves. You take this sugar cane and put it into the crushing machine and what you get is the essence called the sugar cane juice. That sugarcane juice after your consumption when fermented becomes a candy and over a period of time it becomes so rock solid. Similarly, Deshika says the one who is standing atop the hill is a sugarcane. His crown is so tall like the leaves of sugarcane. Take it away. The petum that supports his lotus feet is like the root. Take the petum away. You get head to toe with Bhagavan alone. He's like the sugarcane. He is dark hued like the sugar cane. The sugar cane has cuts in the middle. The Lord has a beautiful necklace, a girdle and an anklet, gold color on his body. He also looks like a sugar cane. For the sugar cane, you needed a machine. For the Lord, take bhakti as the machine and crush him in the machine. What you get is love and mercy. Because the Lord is a personification of daya. That Lord's Daya of Tirupati, like how the sugarcane juice is solidified to become a candy, has become Tirumala Hill, it seems. So the hill that you go is equivalent to the solidified form of Srinivasa's mercy. So the moment you step on the Divyadesham, it means you have seen the Lord. Why? Because the hill is the Lord, the creation is the Lord. Where is the Lord? He is in the creation. Who has made that creation? The Lord. Sir, you know, our creator, our creation, creation, what are you doing? Yes. Tomorrow I will be explaining how he is a part of that creation. Now I will come back to the topic. Bhagavad Gita. 
Arjuna had a simple question. Should I fight my relatives or not? The one is my half brother, one is my step brother, one is my uh, uncle, one is my guru. They are all known people to me, all A positive. Uh, why should I kill my own brothers? Krishna said, all these days while I was telling you this, you said you will fight. After coming to the battlefield, now you realize he is A positive. Rathasthapaya Achyuta, keep the chariot in the middle. I want to see like an arbitrator how these both sides look. Krishna agreed. He was a correct driver. He put the chariot in the middle. Arjuna, have you seen? Yes, Krishna, I feel a bit confused. That the, or the other side, Duryodhana was amazed. He was asking Bhishma, instead of fighting, what are these two men talking? <laughs> talking, you can go to BVB. Bharati Vidya Bhavan, there the lecture is happening. Pravachanaki Kurukshetra Bhumina. What are these two people talking? Krishna should have just stood up. He should have just stood up and looked at Arjuna with his eyes. The moment he would have shown those eyes that look like thousand suns melted together, Arjuna would have said, I will fight. <laughs> you know what Krishna did? Arjuna Vishada Yogam, Sankhya Yogam, uh, Karma Yogam, Jnana Yogam, Devasura Vibhaga Yogam, uh, Bhakti, Raja Guhya, Raja Yogam, 700 verses. Arjuna sat like this. What question I asked? What is he answering? I asked whether I should fight or not. If I kill them, they will die. He is telling about Sthita Pragna. There are four stages. There is Parabhakti, Paragnana, Paramabhakti. Uh, Karma Yogam and Jnana Yogam is the Angam for Bhakti Yogam, which is a vehicle which takes the Jeeva Atma and the Archira Adhikari. What, Krishna? What have I asked and what are you answering? Huh? Then Krishna did, it seems. Is that there in Mahabharatam? No. Alvar mentions that. Why? Because... Krishna was so benevolent to Draupadi, from the moment she was humiliated, he always felt a burden that he was carrying. He wanted to somehow compensate for her. He is Jnana himself. He is Upanishad himself. He is the essence of Upanishad himself. By mistake, he just let it open. The moment was not let to give Bhagavad Gita. But by mistake he did that. After he did that, he realized... You, I shouldn't have told this, I shouldn't have told this. So, Krishna, Bhagavad Gita was given by, out of love for Draupadi to Arjuna. Okay, now, what is the essence of Bhagavad Gita? It is found in Vishnu Sahasranamam. What is the essence? I will read out these two lines. Very important they are. Bharata Siddhanta Bhuta Jagat Bhagavad um, Gita uh, Narayaniya. What is Narayaniya? What is Narayaniyam? What is Narayaniyam? Parayam. Ariyalo. Narayana Bhattadri gave us Narayaniyam in the 16th century, sir. You don't know this. You have come to give lecture in Bharti Vidya No. There is one Narayaniyam inside Mahabharatam. That Narayaniyam is different. This Narayaniyam is different. Okay, so there is one Narayaniyam in Mahabharatam. Narayaniya, Yana Sandhya, Agra Puja, Anushasana Prabhriti, Pradeshantara Tatparya, Nishkarsha Rupatvayane, Tadekartha Tvacha, Evamedbihi, Shadarthi Hetubihi, Preksha Purvikanam, Paramopadeyataya Nirnitam, Vyasadeva, Devashravaha, Asthana, Narada, Vatsya, Sumantu, Prabhutibihi, Sakala Vidya Deshikair, Brahmadrishta, Dik Deva Brahmana Rishibihi, Swayamcha Bhagavata, Sarveshwarena, Gita Upanishada Acharyena, Purvashama Api Guruna, Pundarika Vilochanena, Shrotra Koti Nivishtena, Jipya Matushruma Maditam, Shriman Nama Sahasra Adhyayam, Bhagavad Guna Samapta, Pratyevam Kurmahe, One Line. Now, what does the essence of Gita give? Essence of Gita says that he is the one who will come and protect the devotee. 
Arjuna was confused. He immediately came to the rescue. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna tells about one concept. I am sure you are all experts in Bhagavad Gita. I am just giving you an example. It is called as Jati Smaraha. See, Krishna gives one very tricky thing. He says, if you are a Bhakti Yoga practitioner, when your Atma is about to depart from the body, from the Shariram, only if you think of me as having all Gunas, will you get Moksham. I will repeat the sentence. Think about it. Some food for thought for the night. Krishna tells, this is the body. Pancha Bhautika Shariram. There is a Jeevatma. This Jeevatma in this Shariram thinks that I should not be born again. Punar Janmam is not needed. I should finish off this cycle because we have been born, being born for so many Janmas. Ultimately, this Jeevatma belongs to Paramatma and it has to go to an abode where, from where there can be no return. Nasapunara avartate, nasapunaha avartate. Krishna tells you can get that moksham. But there is only one way Arjuna. While your Jeevatma is departing from the body, just about to depart, you have to think of me as having all the gunas and meditate on me. While meditating the Jeevatma departs, then you will not be born again. Arjuna sat in agony. How will we all die? Imagine we are naturally dying whether in the house or in the hospital. There is one machine next to us. Nurses are coming and attending to us. The Jeevatma is about to depart and that is when you get the excruciating pain called as Bhima, Bhaimarathi. That, is, that pain is called Bhaimarathi. That excruciating pain. When the Jeevatma departs. That moment, I have to think of the Lord. Is it possible? It is so tough. That is when Krishna tells. See, I will give you another. See, only when you give the toughness of one, the student will ask, please give us a better solution. He says, for a moment you forget Bhakti Yogam and do Sharanagati to me. Sarva Dharman Parityaja. You say that Krishna, I am incapable of thinking of all of that. You have to protect me. I will do. See, Krishna wants us to open our mouth and say, I am incapable. But we won't say ego problem. Adalla illa sar. Khandita nangen baralva. Naam aadthini. This naan maadthini. Poonar pijananam. Now India next. Kailasha. Which Kailasha? Poonar pijananam. Poonar pijananam. So... He says the essence of Gita is you will have to surrender to him. Mamekam sharanam braja. You are the, you know Krishna stuti stotarana priyaha he is called. He loves priests. You have to go tell him. Nine, nine Krishna, nine idya vera yoru illa nana rakshana madake. He loves that. Why should I tell him? Like a mother that protects the child, he has to protect. This ahankaram will not work in bhakti. Next Afghanistan, Pakistan, every Punarapi Jananam, Punarapi Maranam, Punarapi Janani, Jatareshayanam. As the Jeevatma departs, karma will assign one account there. Pumsavanam is happening for a lady in Bihar. The Jeevatma go there. Now we were having Bishi Bedebath. Next Janma, there we will have Dal, whatever, that roti. Uh, then from there we will have to go to another place. Uh, we, we may have suppose we have to go to China. <laughs> hmm? Anything can happen. That is why our acharyas say. They, you may ask, sir, is the concept of rebirth proven? They say, for a moment you believe this is true, and for a moment you believe that you have to perform sharanagati. For a moment you think this will fructify. Imagine the result. You don't have to spend anything to surrender. It is only your thought. What are you losing by doing this? Correct. So this is what our Acharyas say. Nevertheless. Now, what is the best example that Krishna protects his devotees? That is when Gajendra Moksha Vrittantam comes into picture. Why? If karma is powerful, you don't have to be bitten by a snake. Remember this line. Karma doesn't mean physically you have to get bitten. At times, snakes can come in your dreams as well. 
see when you are dreaming of a snake biting you you won't know that it is actually a dream until you're woken when you're dreaming you still feel the pain that pain is through which karma gets minused so karma account it doesn't mean okay today i have attended an interview today it did not click though that is not the way karma works tell mention our acharyas even in our dreams that is why there is one nama dusvapna nashanah essence of geeta is thinking of the lord but to think of the lord karma comes in the middle if karma comes in the middle you have bad dreams so dusvapna nashanah in shrimad ramayanam bharata dreams of his father naked falling into a huge pit of cow dung it comes in ayodhya kandam actually that moment dasharatha was dead he was in kk yadesham he tells shatruguna something bad has happened in our family that is when the messenger comes so in shrimad ramayanam we get this concept of bad dream dusvapna nashanah so what is the way to get good dreams sir you tell that sahasranamam tells think of gajendra moksham every night before you sleep you don't i would have spoken for 3 hours you can't remember that last 1 minute you should think of a beautiful set of hills trikuta parvatam at the base camp is a tatakam full of lotuses an elephant is coming with a herd it tries to pluck one flower the elephant has raised the flower with such style and elegance and it wants to post to the female elephants and wants to get out of it that is when when one of its foot is caught in the jaws of a virulent crocodile it cries it tries to rescue itself from the jaws of the crocodile when it fails to it calls the lord for help आदि बीजाय आदि अव्यक्ताय पुरुषाय रुचये साक्षिणे दैट इज व्हेन दिस वेल ऑफ द एलिफेंट इज हर्ड बाय द डेटीज नाहम नाहम नचाहम ईच डेटी सेड इट डिड नॉट कॉल मी इट डिड नॉट कॉल मी बिकॉज़ द वर्ड यूज्ड बाय द एलिफेंट वाज द वन हु इज द कॉसलेस कॉस ही शुड बी द कॉस ऑफ एवरीथिंग बट देयर शुड बी नो कॉस फॉर हिम costless cause that costless cause should see the elephant was very specific see when you are in pain what you'll say ya yara didira the one who has you will you say the see i'm in pain but the one who has got shankha chakra mudra on his hand should only come and rescue will you say this but the elephant was super intelligent now see when bhagavatam is being told there was a great narrator pravachanakarta of our state he lived till a few years back bannaji govinda acharya what a great pravachana karta he was the state has produced such great people every state has got pravachana kartas so every time we do a bhagavata upanyasam or saptaham they'll say the elephant was caught in the jaws of the crocodile then the elephant said adi bijaya adi avyaktaya all of us will nod our heads put our palms together but your grandchild will ask how can the elephant speak sanskrit shlokams and imagine the elephant opening its trunks adi bijaya will it be like lion king lion stock how can you say elephant speak remember the elephant would have not directly uttered the shlokam shuka brahmam has transcribed its cry into a shlokam there's a difference see for example if you go to many houses they'll have pets what is her name no generally i ask is this your dog don't call her dog <laughs> her name is pearl pearl are you feeling hungry they will ask pearl will pearl reply tonga botun to call pearl won't reply hasu ok thai dia where will pearl talk but the owner of the dog the friend of the dog is able to decipher its body language see communication doesn't have to be the way we want it to be 
So Shuka Brahmam knew what was going inside the elephant's head because the elephant was a Pandya Raja called Indra Dhyumna in his previous birth. He was continuing his Bhakti Yogam in this Janma. So he transcribed the whale of that elephant into Gajendra Stuti. So what happened? The whale of the elephant was heard in Vaikuntham. What was the Lord doing? He was playing something with his wife. Always he is cool. He is playing with his wife. Potanna tells it in Bhagavatam. Any Telugu speaking Astikas here? Yeah. Telugu knowing Astikas here? Any Chiranjeevi knowing Astikas here? Alavai Kuntha Purambulo Nagarilo Namula Saudambuda Pala Mandaravanantaramrita Saraf Prantendukanto Palot Pala Paryanka Rama Vinodiagu Napana Prasanudu Vihwala Nagendramu Pahi Pahi Yeni Guya Alinchi Samram Bhiyai Potanna in his Bhagavatam tells When the elephant was crying for help in Alavaikunta Purambulo in Vaikuntham, how was the scene? Nagarilo, Namula, Saudambuda, Pala, Mandara, Vanantaramrita, Saraf, Pranthen, Dukanto, Palot, Pala. Look at the word. I can't break it anywhere. Paryanka Rama Vinodiyagu. Along with Rama, his his wife. Who is Rama? Ayar Mapa, Utpuda, Pusha Mami Undrika. Lakshmi is called Rama. So, with Rama, he was playing. Rama Vinodiyagu Napanna Prasannudu. While he was playing with the pleasing face, Vihwala Nagendramu. That elephant which was in excruciating pain, it said, Pahi, Pahi, please protect me. Yani Guya Linchi Sambrambhiyai. That moment he jumped out. This, if you think every night, you will not get bad dreams, says the Vyakhyanakarta. Duswapna Nashaya Namahasi. I was talking about this in the US two months back. Alavai Kunta Purambulo, Nagari Lo. I did it in Todi, Kalyani, every ragam. Alavai Kunta Purambulo. One person raised the hand. Who, sir, what is this? Sir, this is Potana Bhagavatam. Lay than D. The Allu Allu Arjun Garu. Chalachitramu. So. Time we have reached a place where Potanna has to fight with Allu Arjun <laughs> to get back the copyright of his Bhagavatam. Alavai Kunta Purambulo Nagari Lo. So, what are the six features of Vishnu Sahasranama? Mahabharata Saratvat. The essence of Mahabharatam, 1,25,000 verses, is in this thousand names. Mahabharata Saratvat. Why are the thousand names important? They have been chosen by the realized Rishis. Rishi Bhiv Pari Ganataha. Who has compiled them for us? The one who is peerless called Vedavyasa, Vedacharya Samaharat. Who has uttered these names? Bhishma Krishna Matatvataha. One of the greatest Bhagavatottamas called Bhishma has uttered. Has this been accepted by everyone? Yes, unanimously. Parigrahati shayataha. Does this also have Krishna's agreement to it? Gita taikartha kaschanaha. The essence of Gita is also found in Sahasranamam. Essence of Mahabharatam. Essence of Bhagavad Gita. Uttered by the Rishis. Accepted by all. Compiled by Vyasa. What more do we need? So these are the characteristics of Vishnu Sahasranamam. Well, Sir, you have mentioned this is, these are the features, salient features of Sahasranama. But what gave rise to Sahasranama? Bhishma Acharya could have kept his mouth quiet and rested. Why did this Yudhishthira, he has learnt Raja Dharmam, Moksha Dharmam, answered Yaksha Prashnam. Now what doubt did he have? Why did he have to go there? Sir, those six questions we keep telling. Kime kam daivatam loke kim vapye kam parayanam stuvantah kam kamarchantah prapna yurmana vashubham ko dharma sarva dharmanam bhavatav paramomatah kim japan muchate jantur janma samsara bandhanat. Sir, six questions he asked. Some 
answers Bhishma gave were the answers the Sahasranamam or the answers were different from Sahasranamam you may have. For that you have to come at 10.30 in the morning. <laughs> Tomorrow if you come, answers for those six questions you will have. Tomorrow 10.30 a.m. we will begin. I will try giving. Now tomorrow you will have a better clarity on what questions were asked. It's not simple to decipher because he has commented for about 10 pages on these six questions. We will simplify this and understand it better. Again, I'm very thankful to the holy premises of Bharati Vidya Bhavan, all the astikas who have been toiling to make this such a great success to the sponsors, to Sri Raghavan, to Suresh, to Badri, so many people whom I know who have showered love. So tomorrow, please do come at 10.30. Namaskaram. Kavitarkika Simhaya Kalyana Gunashalini Srimate